My next guest is a member of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. He and his colleagues pressing the president now to take action on comprehensive immigration reform. Congressman Luis Gutierrez, Democrat of Illinois, joining us live from Capitol Hill. Congressman, good to see you. Good to be with you, Lou, once again. I, let's start with two closed-door meetings at the White House. Uh, the president obviously thinking on immigration. Now, am I correct? in noting that you, on a Monday, said that you were, right now, you didn't have a favorite in the, uh, for the Democratic uh, nomination come 2012 because of your disappointment with the president. And 24 hours later, the White House had a major meeting on immigration reform. Well, I, I wish it would have been that way, cause, but I, I guess I just don't have that kind of immense power and influence. What I did say a couple of weeks ago when, in, uh, when I was uh, asked by reporters, so what about the next election? And I said, well, the president uh, does have a great jeopardy in losing vast uh, segments of support from immigrants and Latino communities throughout the nation as they felt that he has not kept his commitment to bring about comprehensive immigration reform, which, as you know, Lou, he said he wanted to do first in the first 90 days, first 100 days, first year, and hasn't come to fruition. Um, uh, much, uh, of course, because of obstacles uh, put up by the Republican Party. And so what we have said is, look, we need some balance in, in our enforcement procedures mm -hmm. and in how it is our immigration policies are taken about. There are American soldiers being sent to Afghanistan whose wives are under orders of deportation. There are American citizens by the thousands who are living in mixed families where children are being left behind with their mothers. And we should prioritize drug when dealers, you say mixed gang families, bangers. When you say mixed yes. families, what, mm -hmm. explain what you well, mean. I, I'll give you exactly. Uh, Specialist Nunez uh, signed up in the National Guard in the state of Illinois, five years, re-signed up because he wanted to go with his team back to yeah. Afghanistan. As right. he was going to go do that, he applied for a visa for his wife, but because of the 1996 immigration law, she had to go back to Mexico for 10 years while he was off in Afghanistan well, don't you think, to have an American citizen child. Let me just raise my hand here and ask you a question, very simply. Sure. This president, democratically-led Congress, and the democratically-led Senate could have at any time moved forward legislation to assure that anyone serving in the United States military was granted citizenship and that bill was not moved in either the House or the Senate or nor uh, sought by the President of the United States. I think, I think more importantly, well, there no, was but a I mean, bill. First respond, if you would, I, Congressman, to that. The, but, but, but look, but look I, you said I, the I Republicans were stopping the, I don't run it. Either, I, well, yeah, I will tell you Republicans are stopping it. And we did pass a bill in the House, 216 to 198. We passed the DREAM Act in the House of Representatives, a broad bipartisan proposal. But even Republicans that were original sponsors of the bill uh, when it was introduced into the Senate filibustered the bill. There were 54 senators. So the actual movement on comprehensive immigration reform has come as a stumbling block because of Republicans' uh, yeah. insistence that even when you get 54 votes out of 100, which I think our founding fathers would have thought was a majority and something that should be sent to the president's desk. Our founding fathers, I would say, Congressman, would be a little shocked uh, that we were having getting, a discussion about whether or not... I, or, I know, about, but getting, but I, look, if I could just finish, Congressman. Okay, I think sure. our founding fathers would be a little shocked to find that we're having a debate about whether or not this nation's borders are to be enforced and be secure. Look, look, a little look. shocked to find that we're not enforcing laws we pass. There you go. There you go. You just put words in my mouth. I didn't say that the law shouldn't be enforced of this nation. Yeah. I'm saying that the following is happening. Okay. That the, in the Congress of the United States, there is absolutely no possibility to pass legislation, right. even when you have a majority of senators but, and members of the House to pass on immigration because yeah. of politics. Let, let and we just, should look at good governance. The President of the United States has broad discretion. Do you know, Lou, that if you come from Cuba and you have and you arrive on the shores of the United States, the dry foot policy, and you step on the beach in Miami, you're granted parole in place, and a year later, if you have no criminal background, guess what? That's administrative relief that was never granted by the Congress of the United States. Right, I can cite a lot of other over, administrative relief you and I've for, been doing for this. people who are possible. Congress, you and I have been having this conversation for like know, five years. But please have, me, me, have me back. Could I, go you got Could I go after Kissinger the next time? <laughs> you, can, you can come after. As a matter of fact, we will set it up precisely that way. But, <laughs> Thank uh, you, Congress, well, I just want to say to you, if Good I to may, be back with we, you. It, I'm just kidding. It's great to see you. And I'm not Thank kidding. You. It is great to see you. And come Good back to soon. see you, Lou. We'll, right, bye -bye. we'll get this thing resolved one of these days. All right. Coming up.